welcome to my channel Helena Daydreamer where we create our dreams and other stuff. In today's tutorial I will be making five really easy and affordable and creative choker necklaces and I really hope you like them because I had so much fun making them. If you enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of my future tutorials. And guys thank you so much for all your suggestions. I already created a list with all of them so that I don't forget. You will definitely see your suggestions come to life one day. And I know I say this in every single video but it's true I love you love you so much and I really appreciate all your comments and your support so thank you and sending kisses to wherever you are bye I have to start this tutorial with my favorite choker the infinity galaxy choker because it's so cool I'm using about five and a half inches of 18 gauge silver plated copper wire and creating an easy infinity shape using a marker pen and my wire cutters Next we need to roughen the surface on the inside with a file or sandpaper and then simply lay it down on your ribbon right in the middle and add some hot glue. By the way the length of my satin ribbon was roughly 14 inches to start with and one tip keep the ribbon stretched by either holding and stretching each end or simply weighing each end down with heavy objects. After the glue has cooled down I apply two layers of black acrylic paint to it and when that was dry I had the time of my life creating the galaxy by painting lots of little swirls in different colors. I was only using pink, blue and white but you can totally mix so many different shades. No one would believe there were only these simple colors to start with. Uh, actually I did add a little bit of purple metallic paint to the galaxy at the end but still pretty awesome. I painted these swirls in two layers and then added lots of little white dots for the stars and painted some actual stars too. Once the paint is dry, you can get rid of any excess paint from the wire by scraping it off with a wooden toothpick. And to finish it off, add two layers of clear nail varnish to protect your gorgeous design. And to add a little bit of sparkle, I'm gluing on these beautiful flat back crystals with a bit of strong all-purpose glue. To finish the choker, I cut off a bit from each end of the ribbon, leaving it about 11 inches in length and then melted the edges with a lighter. Remember guys, adult supervision! <laughs> and don't let it burn. I had some hooks and eyes at home, but they can be found in any fabric shop and I glued them to each end of the ribbon and while the glue was still hot, I flattened them with a knife and cut any excess glue with an X-Acto knife. Then added a piece of recycled chain to make it adjustable and done! I bet it will make all the aliens out there jealous. How is that for a galaxy choker, hey? Cool! This next choker is even easier. Use some 18 gauge gold plated wire and make a circle shape, roughly an inch and a quarter in diameter. Roughen it on the inside and put it onto your ribbon. This time I'm using organza ribbon, about 23 inches in length. Then I applied three coats of white, three coats of blue and one coat of clear fast drying nail varnish and let it dry. I then glued some flat back crystals to the middle of the circle in a shape of a flower and cut the edges of the ribbon at an angle and again melted the edges slightly. This combination of turquoise blue, bright pink and gold is like an awesome celebration of life. Guys, I don't know how else to describe it, it's just so gorgeous. I also made this other kind of galaxy choker, made a small circle out of 18 gauge silver plated wire, added hot glue and then applied two coats of black nail varnish and when the second coat was still wet I sprinkled a tiny bit of white iridescent glitter over it and let it dry. Then of course I applied my fast drying clear nail varnish and finished the ends of the black organza ribbon exactly the same as the previous one. This choker guys is kind of mysterious and I love the sparkle. Number four is this cute heart choker. I made a heart shape out of gold plated wire and repeated all the other steps. You should know them by heart now. A 
and then I added three coats of white acrylic paint, let it dry and then paint whatever you like. In my case, of course, more hard. And I went for a combination of baby pink and baby blue acrylic paint. And once that was dry, I of course added some clear nail varnish to protect it. Cute, cute, cute. And that's all I have to say about that. And finally, here comes this absolutely beautiful white pearl choker. I made a teardrop shape out of some 18 gauge gold plated wire. It's just like making half of the infinity shape. Pile the inside, add glue and remember to keep the ribbon stretched whilst the glue is still cooling down. Then I added three coats of white, three coats of pearlescent white and one coat of fast drying clear nail varnish. Oh, and if you get any varnish on the wire, use a nail corrector pen to remove it or just any nail varnish. And to finish it off, I made a hook and an eye out of 20 gauge gold plated wire using my wire cutters and chain nose pliers. And then I glued both of them to each end of the ribbon with fabric glue. I absolutely adore this choker. It has such a romantic look to it. I just know I will be wearing it loads. I can't believe we got to the end of this video. Probably the longest tutorial I've made so far. But I really wanted to share all of them with you and all the little hacks and tips. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you are still here, please let me know which choker you like the most. I would love to hear from you guys. So take care my lovely friends and I shall see you next week with a slightly shorter tutorial.